I hope you've all been enjoying the show so far. Fall is the perfect time to get the family together. And what better way to prepare your home than with a homemade centerpiece? Kristen Urban got a how-to demo. When it comes to entertaining, the perfect centerpiece can make all the difference. Lucky for us, we have a gardening expert that can help us make one right from home. Let's go catch up with him. I'm joined now by John Bloodsworth in his own garden. Good, Good morning. morning. Thanks for having us out here Thank today. Thank you. John, this is beautiful. And I see you have already set up for us just this perfect full dining set. But what we're missing is the perfect centerpiece. And that's what you're specifically going to help us with Yes, today, absolutely. Correct? It's chop, you know, going into your own backyard, pulling things that you planted for fall and putting them on your fall table. Now we have everything set up to go through your garden and kind of get this set up. Is it okay if we go and check it Let's out? Let's do it. Awesome. Okay, John, now we're in the heart of your garden and I'm ready. I'm already seeing some fall colors kind of displayed over mm -hmm. here, which is really perfect for our fall centerpiece. Yes. Tell me what flowers are these that I'm seeing right here? These are zinnias that have been here all summer. So these are, are transitioning again. You know, while you're, while you're clipping flowers, also deadhead at the same time. So a let's little just- Little pruning there. <laughs> little pruning. So let's grab some of these for fall color for the table. Here you Beautiful. go. Beautiful. I'll get a few more here. Now, that's a good point. Now, when it comes to preparing your garden for the fall, it sounds like you were already planting some of these in the summer. Yeah, absolutely. Plan, plan ahead. So if you've got some plants that you know are going to last into the summer, into the fall, go ahead and get them in the garden in the summertime because you'll really reap the benefits in the fall. You know, now is a great time to get out in your garden and start doing what we're doing. What other plants would you suggest from your garden for this fall display? Well, you know, we've got some salvia over here. So we're just kind of clipping some now to use. And just look um, at that purple too, it's beautiful. And then later on, Thanks, probably Sean. I'll cut these back and get them ready for, for coming back up in the fall. And Perfect. when it gets really cold, they're gonna die back, but they'll come back again. The salvias will come back year after year after year. John, these look beautiful. I know we have a couple more to grab and then we're gonna meet back at the table, right? Perfect. Get this assembled. Perfect. Okay, I'll awesome. I'll get us a few more and I'll meet you at the uh, dining table. All right, let's do it. All right. You've already created a few centerpieces for us. You've done a little bit of pruning and yeah. I have to know, I mean, this could be a centerpiece in itself. It could. Just the box we were just picking flowers Just the box we were picking flowers in makes a beautiful <laughs> setting on the middle of the table. It's beautiful. Now just tell us exactly what you did here. You said you already put water in these. We put water in our vases and you know, what, I, what we've done too is a lot of people have this straw left over from summer, from it's a beach look, but you can take and transition your your beachy stuff using a little bit of fall color and put it right into fall. The salvia, we put water in here already, just plop those down in there. Yeah, and this adds like a little bit more depth to the table and you and want some height, you yeah. wanna you want a wow. Yeah. So this is our wow for the table. We've taken the zinnias and we even picked some of the uh, chili patines and put them on the table just for a little fun and variety. This is a nice looking table, but we want people talking about our table when they leave. I love it. So <laughs> we've gone to the wood pile here. Here's some logs. Just take these and run it down the center of the table. And then I clip some asparagus fronds. Oh, beautiful. So take these and just tuck them in. So let the wood show, put it underneath a little bit. So the wood still shows through like that. And then we cut a few more of these little chili patines. Beautiful. And just place those Beautiful. in here like this to add a little bit more color. If people want to find out more information, if they would find you, where can they go? You know, I'm on Instagram at Little Cabin in the Heights. So this table setting, lots of other table ideas will be there. So you can go and get inspiration, get ideas of how you can set your own table for fall, for Christmas, for any any time of the year. John, this is awesome. I know our viewers at home are definitely gonna be inspired. We appreciate your time today. Oh, this has been so much fun. It's always fun to have you in the garden. Great to see you, John. I'm excited, I'm just excited to smell this. Yeah. Looks awesome, Kristen.